Here we go, here we go. What's good? What's good? This is your host, Swag Boy from SwagBoy360.com. Today's episode, she left you. So what? I had a consultation about three or four days ago with a dude who was dealing with a girl. This girl wasn't his girlfriend. This girl wasn't his wife. All this girl was to him was a motherfucking jump off. He was dealing with this girl for like three or four months. But in the time frame that they were dealing with each other, she started to get cold. She started to break away. And eventually, she cut the nigga off. And he told me that this has happened to him before in the past. So he came to me in a consultation. He said, Swag, why did this girl do this? Girls before her did the same thing. The sex is good. I tell him from the gate, all I want to do is sex. I don't want nothing serious. But they still get cold and they still break away. Why is that? But this dude in particular was very upset that this bitch walked out of his life. He was asking me what way and how could he get her back as a sexual partner, as a jump off. Now, a lot of y'all going through shit like that. Your girl left you. Or the girl you fucking, the girl you had as a, a a motherfucking friends with benefits, she ain't fucking with you no more. The reason why I don't know, you 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 niggas supposed to know how bitches is now. One day she hot, next minute she cold, nigga. She probably got tired of fucking you and wanted to fuck with another nigga who was taking her seriously. You know what I'm saying? You never know what it is. But let me explain something to you niggas when it comes to bitches leaving you. Let me, let me explain something to you niggas. Your life is a motherfucking train, nigga. That's what your life is. Your life is a motherfucking train. Some people get on a train and they stay on a train. But some people get on a train and they get the fuck off. In this situation with this particular dude and a female, the bitch decided to get the fuck off the train. And that's cool. Because guess what? At least the bitch gave you some good memories on that train. The bitch probably sucked you off. She gave you some pussy and then she got the fuck off. off the, she got the fuck up off the train. That's what a lot of people do. You got to keep moving. The train got to keep moving. Let me explain something to you niggas. The train don't stop. Because one bitch want to get the fuck off. The train don't stop. Because one motherfucker is getting on. Whether the bitch is on or off the train. The motherfucking train keeps moving. Oh love. Hold up, hold up. Somebody got to hear this. Somebody got to hear this. See, the thing about it is, we got to be grateful of the experiences we have with multiple people. You know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just be grateful you were able to experience the bitch, even if it was for a limited time. Be grateful that you had an opportunity to have fun with the bitch for a limited time. Do not ridicule a bitch because she decided to get off your train. Do not talk bad about a bitch because she decided to get off your train. When bitches decide to get off my train, I don't curse them out. And be like, fuck you, bitch. I do the same thing that Amtrak says. Thanks for riding with Amtrak. Enjoy your day. 
That's why I say to a bitch, I say, thanks for riding with Swag Boy. Enjoy your day, bitch. I ain't got time to be getting mad at a bitch. God damn. And then, and then, and then you niggas, you niggas wondering why no other bitches want to get on your train. Because you start talking to new bitches, expressing to the new bitches how the last few bitches got off your train. Now the other bitches wondering, whoa, 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 maybe I shouldn't get on your train then, nigga. Because it, what if I want to get off? You going to ridicule me? You going to sabotage me? You going to roast me? So what the bitch left you? So what the bitch got off your train? You niggas need to be thankful that you still got a motherfucking train that's moving. That's what you need to be thankful of. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Do you know how many bitches get on my train and get off my train? Straight up. Do you know how many bitches get on my train and get off my train? Plenty. Plenty. A lot of people come in my life and then leave my life. It's okay. Your life is a movie. Your life is a book. People that come into your life, people that come into your book, they got a segment and a chapter in your book. So when they come into your life, that is a beginning of a chapter. And when they walk out of your life, it is the ending of a chapter. When motherfuckers walk out of my life, especially the people who I had uh, uh, good encounters with, I don't get mad. I thank them. I thank the universe for bringing them into my life. I thank the universe for giving me those wonderful experiences. Same thing with bitches. You know how many sexy, dick-sucking sluts came in into my life and walked out of my life, got on my train, got off my train? When it was time for them to get off my train, I wasn't like, oh, bitch, where you going? I said, all right, baby, you take care. Good luck with everything. I thank the bitch for her good pussy that she gave me. I thank the bitch for them good blowjobs she used to give me. Thank you for getting on my train, like slobbing my knob, like corn on a car. Thank you for coming on my train with them nice, with, with that big booty, wearing them booty shorts. Dropping it like it's hot so a real nigga could pick it up like it's not. Thank you. Thank you. There's no hard feelings. So, so when them bitches get off my train, I see them on another nigga train. I don't get mad. I don't curse them out. It is over. I still got bitches that want to get on my train. I'm taking care of my train. Meaning, I'm taking care of my life. I'm taking care of my body. I'm taking care of my needs. You niggas worried about the bitches that's getting off your train instead of worrying about taking care of your motherfucking train. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. See, check this out. When a bitch get off my train, you know what I do with my train? I wash my train off. Keep my train looking good. The inside is real clean. It's smelling good. Because guess what? I'm waiting for the new people to get on my train. That's what I'm saying, y'all. People gonna come in your life and they gonna walk out of your life. That's life, y'all. That is life. Please accept that. If you niggas accept the fact that bitches will come into your life and walk out of your life, you will be better off overall. Okay? So in closing, I welcome new people in my life all the time, yo. But 
they got to realize this train ain't going to stop moving because you're getting off. This train ain't going to stop moving because you don't like this train. This train going to keep moving. So every bitch that I can come encounter with, I give them a choice. I say, baby girl, you are welcome to get on this train and enjoy this train. Because you got to understand something. Whether you on this train or not, this train is going to the promised land. This train is going to the mountaintop with or without you. So baby girl, you got a choice. Either you can ride this train or you are welcome at any time to get the fuck off. That was today's episode of Like a Comment. Subscribe. And I'm going to catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.